Before Europeans arrived in Australia, water moved more slowly through the landscape. There were many wetlands, swampy meadows and chains of ponds. Vegetation flourished along the waterways, which captured sediments and gradually built up soils in the valley floors. Moisture was stored within the floodplain, where plants could easily reach the water table. During dry times, the water flow remained beneath the surface. In wet times, the flow spread out across the floodplain and valuable nutrients were captured and recycled by the dense vegetation. These rich, fertile floodplains were widespread. When European settlers arrived, they found the dense native grasslands and abundant water ideal for sheep and cattle production. However, the new farming practices had major impacts on the fragile Australian environment and dramatically changed how water moved through the landscape. Trees were cleared and grasslands were grazed to the ground, removing the very vegetation that had slowed the water flow and built the fertile floodplains in the first place. The water picked up speed and the landscape began to erode. Incisions cut deeply into the fertile soils, taking the nutrients and sediments with it. The newly formed erosion channels acted as drains, dropping the water table to the channel floor and drying out the wetlands. The continuous channels concentrated and increased water flow. Very little vegetation remained to slow down the floods and more nutrients were lost downstream rather than being deposited on the floodplain. At the Maloon Institute, we strive to restore landscape function. We carefully plan and design structures to fit neatly into the landscape. One example is the leaky weir. These leaky weirs are built from natural materials such as rocks, logs, soil, and importantly, vegetation, which among other things, binds the structures together. The structures are designed to raise the water level of the stream and to slow and filter the flow, giving it a chance to infiltrate and recharge the groundwater. Coupled with improved land management, these rehydrated landscapes provide more reliable stream flows and improved water quality. During wet times, the flow spreads out across the floodplain. In dry times, the water flow remains beneath the surface and replenishes the creek. This allows for enhanced agricultural productivity and improved conditions for wildlife, and gives us rehydrated landscapes that are more resilient to climatic extremes.